a very important cornerstone concept of biochemistry, that puts the order in all its biomolecules, reactions, and processes is that of cellular localization, or what is known as compartmentalization. The metabolic pathways in eukaryotic cells are extensively compartmentalized by an endomembrane system. Each compartment is dedicated to specialized metabolic functions, and the enzymes appropriate to these specialized functions, are confined together within the organelle. In many instances, the enzymes of a metabolic sequence occur together within the organelle or membrane. Thus, the flow of metabolic intermediates in the cell is spatially, as well as chemically segregated. We will see a specific example of this concept illustrated, and then in play when we go to the next slide. As promised, here is a concrete example of compartmentalization in play. As we can see in the illustration shown here, the 10 enzymes of glycolysis are found in the cytosol, the pyruvate, the product of glycolysis, is fed into the mitochondria. These organelles contain the citric acid cycle enzymes, which oxidize pyruvate to carbon dioxide. The great amount of energy released in the process is captured by the oxidative phosphorylation system of mitochondrial membranes, and used to drive the formation of ATP. From here, we can clearly see and understand that the enzymes, reactions and pathways are separated, both geographically and chemically, in the different compartments, in this case, in the cytosol and the mitochondria. If we look at the big picture, metabolic pathways in eukaryotic cells, are extensively compartmentalized by the endomembrane system. Each of these cells has a true nucleus bounded by a double membrane called the nuclear envelope. The nuclear envelope is continuous with the endomembrane system, which is composed of differentiated regions, the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi complex, various membrane-bounded vesicles such as lysosomes, vacuoles, and microbities, and, ultimately, the plasma membrane itself. Eukaryotic cells also possess mitochondria and, if they are photosynthetic, chloroplasts. Here is a tabulated summary of the different organelles, and the respective important metabolic processes occurring therein. Feel free to pause the presentation to read through each and every item. This concludes the Biochem Serie episode of the lecture on Introduction to Biochemistry and the Biochemistry of the Cell. Feel free to watch the other Biochem Serie episodes of this lecture as linked below in the description.